Are you wondering how to do effective keyword research without paying for expensive tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush? Well guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use Perplexity AI and Claude to do advanced keyword research without paying for these expensive tools. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools for marketing and what prompts I use, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link below this video, but now let's get back on how you can use Perplexity and Claude to do advanced keyword research. Now the keyword research method I'm about to show you is completely free to do. I do have paid plans to both Perplexity and Claude Pro. You don't have to have that. I do have separate videos you can find in the description if you want more details about those, but all you need is a free perplexity account and a free Claude account. So in order to do this, all we need to do is I'm going to go to the home screen of perplexity and I would also recommend opening up Claude. Even if you don't have the paid one, you can still use the free version of Claude, including the best model, which is Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prompt Claude with the following and I will leave all of these prompts in the video description below so you guys can follow along. And what I'm going to do is prompt it with this. Create an advanced keyword research prompt that I can use on Perplexity AI to search the web for the highest quality keywords possible. Make sure to include monthly search volume, competition, CPC, search intent, and long tail variations I can use for content ideas. Now, I can throw in some other details there if I wanted to. You could do this inside ChatGPT if you wanted to as well. I personally just like the outputs that I get from Claude for these sorts of things. And so what you're going to do is prompt Claude with this. And on the right hand side, you're going to notice it's giving you an advanced prompt. And so once this finishes up, what we want to do is copy and paste this entire prompt that Claude created, copy, come back to perplexity. And I would highly recommend having pro search on for this. You do get a limited amount of pro searches on the free plan, but you still get some. So have pro search enabled for this. And then I'm going to paste that prompt from Claude. And on the very top, you'll notice there's a placeholder. It says for the keyword target keyword. So right here, you would enter whatever your keyword is. And in this example, I am going to do, let's do best VPNs. I'm just going to think of a popular keyword. Let's do best VPNs. Click enter. And you'll see here what it's going to come up with. The pro search, there's a lot that goes into this. This might take a little bit. So I'm actually going to skip ahead after this output is complete. All right, so here's the response that I got from Perplexity based on that long keyword research prompt that I copy and pasted from Claude. And right away, you'll see here all the different things ProSearch was doing in the background to come up with this. So nothing special here. It gives you the sources like any Perplexity response would. And then here's the answer. It gives you the core metric analysis like I asked for based on the keyword best VPNs. Search volume, keyword difficulty, average CPC, top 10 ranking domains, domain authority range. So it gives me all of these key metrics that you could find really on any other keyword research tool, probably even the free ones. But really where this gets good is it gives you all these different long tail keyword variations, right? Questions, modify, I like how it breaks it out here. Questions, modifiers, location based, price point, target audience, gaps in current content, detailed speed test methodologies, VPN server network, privacy policy, mobile app, and more questions here, related searches, seasonality trends. Honestly, there's probably more data in here. It might be data overload in my opinion, um, but regardless, very good information here. I could click one of these related searches, but then what you could do is follow up with it and ask something like this. Great, now based on all of this data, provide 10 content ideas I can use to create blog posts or YouTube videos that would provide the most value and give me the best opportunity to rank high on Google or YouTube search. And I'm gonna click enter and then skip ahead once this output is complete. All right, now here's some of the content ideas that Perplexity provided based on the comprehensive keyword research analysis that I just went through here above. The ultimate guide to choosing the best VPN, our free VPN safe. And what I like here is it gives me a little explanation as to why it's picking this idea. And again, this isn't random. It's looking at the actual keyword research data that it just performed from various sources and then creating these content ideas based on what I asked it, which what would move the needle? And these are the 10 ideas that it thinks would move the needle for a YouTube video or a blog post. So here it gives all these different ideas. Now this is a little more advanced, but what I did is I went ahead and copy and pasted all 10 of these ideas. I came back to Claude and I'm not gonna show you the prompt here, but long story short, what I did is I prompted it to make this more legible in a table format. So I gave it all the ideas from perplexity, 
dumped them into Claude right here. And on the right hand side, it created a VPN content strategy calendar. I hope you guys are following along here based on priority, target keyword, search volume, search intent, SEO title, meta description, uh, content type, word count. You could add whatever you want to these columns. And then it gave me some notes down here. But now one by one, you can go through here and start creating either YouTube videos or blog posts. You can probably use Claude to create the blog posts, honestly. I have separate tutorials on my channel showing you how to do that inside a project for best outputs or you can create what other types of content that you want. But that is strategy number one. And again, it got a little more advanced at the end, but I hope you guys were following along. I'll be sure to leave all the prompts that I use in the video description below step-by-step. Step, so this process looks a lot easier to you guys. But again, that is method number one on how you can use Perplexity AI for advanced keyword research. Now for keyword research method number two inside perplexity, what we're going to be using is called perplexity spaces. This was a recent update perplexity rolled out with about a week ago. I made a video covering this in more detail. You can find that in the description below, but here what you wanna do on the left is click spaces and then just click create space. This is open to free users of perplexity. There's only a few functionalities that pro users have access to, but I wouldn't really worry about that. And all we're gonna do is I'm gonna name this keyword research See if I can spell right, guys. Research, assistant. You can even add an emoji here if you want. Um, we'll just do that one. Salute emoji. Uh, description, we'll do um, a space for keyword research. You can do whatever you want for this. Not a big deal. For model, I'm just going to leave this on default. Again, you can change this to whatever. I just recommend leaving that on default. And then the custom instructions is where the important part comes in. And I'm going to be honest, I saw a video from a fellow YouTuber from Grace Lung. I just had her on my podcast recently. Very smart YouTuber, great channel. She had this prompt that I thought was genius and wanted to share it in this video. And so what I'm going to do is use this prompt in the custom instructions for perplexity spaces. And the prompt reads the following. When I provide a keyword as an input, perform the following actions. Analyze the top web search results. Analyze the search intent based on the current top web search results for the keyword. Provide details about the search intent. Assume the keyword is insert your input keyword. And I'm gonna click continue. And so here's my newly created space right here, Keyword Research Assistant. I'm gonna click this. And this almost looks exactly like a Claude project. I mentioned that on my first video I did on Perplexity Spaces, as you can upload files and add knowledge to this. I'm not gonna do that in this example, but something you can definitely do in the future. Right here is custom instructions, so what we literally just did. And you can obviously fine tune this however you want over time. Click update. And now what we can do is make sure pro search is turned on here. Web is on. We're not going to attach anything. Now what we can do is simply type in keyword equals and then enter your keyword. I'm going to do best VPNs again, and then I'm going to click go. And why this is so important or why I did this is notice how I didn't enter a long prompt like I did in the first example. I had it set up in the custom instructions where all you need to do is enter the keyword and it performs the task just based on that. So based on the search results, so it gives me search intent analysis like I asked for in the instructions, it gives me key observations, so very good points here on what you can use in keyword research, top VPN services mentioned, and then et cetera, et cetera. You can ask for related things. You can ask it to rewrite it. You can ask it follow-up questions. But I'm not gonna go into this really in much more detail. You guys can mess around with this on your own time. But that is the second method, is using a perplexity space to make keyword research more scalable and efficient. Now, if you're still watching, you might be asking, well, Ryan, why can't I just use ChatGPT for keyword research? I mean, all these YouTube videos say you can go from zero to 100, rank one on Google overnight with this ChatGPT keyword research method. Oh my God right? And you can definitely use chat GPT for keyword research. And if you do do that, I would click explore GPTs, click keyword research and find one of these custom GPTs that you can do this. Now, the reason I avoid using chat GPT for keyword research is because I look at the data behind what chat GPT and open AI is using to get its results versus the data and sources that Perplexity is using to get its results. And I personally trust the quality of Perplexity more when it comes to anything research related versus what you would get on ChatGPT+. So again, if you're gonna do keyword research, use Perplexity AI and not ChatGPT.
But nonetheless, that's enough of me rambling for now. I appreciate you if you've made it this far. Again, this is Ryan. If this is your first time to the channel, if you found value in this keyword research video, would appreciate the thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, commenting below if you have any thoughts on this. And again, if you want to get my free guide on AI marketing essentials to find the best tools and prompts for marketing, you can find the link below this video. But most importantly, I appreciate you all and hope you all have a great day.